Hello channel viewers, in this one I'll be featuring Asimov crater type anomalies discovered in Gorgonum chaos on Mars. I'm Jean, thank you for stopping by. This is another Raptor Zone Saturn Arc collaboration. This is the high rise photo we'll be analyzing. Gullies in uh, Gorgonum chaos on Mars. The acquisition date 26 April 2008 2x2 binning at 50 centimeters per pixel I'll include the link to this page in the description below in this we'll be looking at cropped images from the JP2 black and white map projected file and uh, this is a low res JPEG of that area just to give you some context and uh, in uh, my last video um, I stated that we'll be looking at anomalies in Serenum Fosse that's actually uh, Gorgonum Chaos I hope I pronounced that correctly so apologies for that one and uh, the anomalies we'll be checking out are right here in this area so yes. a uh, the area we'll be analyzing and there's Asimov crater uh, there's lots of gullies in both uh, lots of signs of water or liquid present in the past the two areas are virtually on the opposite sides of the planet so a great distance between the two that's why it's really strange that the structures are similar so yes the top of wall or retaining wall in uh, this high rise and similar looking walls or retaining walls in Asimov so yes the uh, first close-up of uh, some of these walls you can see what looked like uh, blocks that have come loose and that have this really shiny white surface on the side like cement plaster or concrete here's another look at uh, this what looks like a structure and uh, here it continues more of these really strange looking blocks continues down and uh, it does look like some of the uh, structure has sort of come apart and rolled down into the gully here's what looks like an opening this really dark area I have zoomed in there there's only sm similar dunes and sand in that area so nothing really spectacular to look at and then uh, in another part of the photograph we've got more of what looks like the stop of a wall or structure some of the blocks or material that's come loose and rolled down it's another look at it another area check it this lots of sand was covering this part and this has been exposed there's another one of these strange looking Ports, very straight sides and then it uh, looks like another one of these little mounds with a very rectangular opening it looks as if this part has been strip mined or cleared I've zoomed in on that area and brightened it up 
It doesn't look like there's uh, an entrance way there, but it does look as if this area has been mined, perhaps. So he has more of that, uh, what looks like a structure or wall. And uh, the first anomaly we're looking at is right there. And it's this circular object, with the circular side to the left, it comes around and then uh, forms a 90 degree angle with this part here. And then a uh, really strange rounded feature or part there towards the right and then on top what looks like one or two domes it's difficult to say perhaps even a sort of an oblong oval hole so the next anomaly is right there looks like this uh, delta shaped object uh, all these are approximately 5 to 10 meters across. So really strange looking anomalies, not your typical type of rock or boulder. This one's got really flat sides, what looks like circular parts. And then on top, got this triangular sort of indentation. And then the other part we're looking at is right there. Could this have been part of a machine? Some type of technology perhaps that's been crushed or smashed, bent up, possible wreckage of some type. Could that have been uh, part of a, a structure? Look at the odd peak to this mound. It looks as if it's been smoothed over. So the first anomaly we're looking at there is located in that dark spot and it's this uh, strange crescent shape object. Check out the geometry and symmetry in that. In the next anomaly isn't too far off. There's so many over here. Let's see if I can find it. It's over there. So check out these uh, rounded edges and then uh, this really rectangular part to it over there in the center and it looks almost as if there's a, a V feature on top of this rounded part. And the next anomaly is right here. And uh, I don't know what to make of this one. It looks like a, sort of a disc, large disc-like feature. And uh, looks like a, a C, a symbol C that's been covered in sand. Look at that rounded feature there. It could almost be a, sort of a triangular part with these rounded corners and then a really strange looking part to it at the bottom. Perhaps it's layered and this is underneath. Uh, or it could be that light is shining through underneath the craft, I'm not sure. If that is a craft, I'm just speculating, but it does look like an impact up a trench. And uh, look at the way the sand has been heaped up in front of it. Could that be something that crashed there? And then the other really weird anomaly, almost triangular in shape, this one here this really flat side, straight edge, and then these rounded parts to it. Um, could be a little oblong dome on top. Also, I don't know what to make of this one. 
uh, please do leave comments below and uh, tell me what you guys make of these and ladies of course uh, he has more of this looks like a structure that's been covered with these loose blocks so the anomaly we're looking at quickly see if I can locate it it's right there it's this really weird shape most rectangular base and then this triangular part to it sticking out the top and uh, looks like a little dome or sphere over there and then this smaller part could this have been uh, one object or is it one that's been covered in sand or so it looks as if uh, the sand's been heaped up towards one side not sure if that's something that may have crashed there other anomaly is right in the center of the screen it's this triangular part looks as if uh, it's partially buried in the sand and this part's been bent over somehow look at the straight edges possible uh, sort of 90 degree angle over there So also not sure what to make of that one so more of the uh, the wall this is a really long stretch this is sort of in the middle it has the, uh, the anomalies we'll be looking at located there We've got this really flat sided but looks like a a cube almost and then uh, this piece to the right um, also a really strange looking shape with a little oblong feature on the top and it seems to be bent towards the right here and uh, looks like that could be type of a groove not sure could that be a separate part like a disc shape and then this really odd looking piece down here it's got multiple sort of uh, layers rounded arcs and then over here it looks like a figure eight <coughs> other anomalies over there <coughs> pardon me and uh, could this have been one piece is it covered in sand here yeah? because it looks as if that sort of uh, part of the same feature part and then uh, got it like a, a rounded larger piece slightly towards the bottom also buried in sand so could this be a larger circular object further down the wall or structure I've zoomed in uh, on an area there just have a look at those uh, blocks and the really smooth sides rather bright sides sort of covered in uh, white material possibly further down the structure got this uh, really bright piece it's located there it looks really flat the really well defined edges or sides and uh, almost 90 degree angle there further down the structure the anomaly we're looking at is located there and uh, this looks like possibly part of a, a machine perhaps look at these straight lines 90 degree angle over there 
and then this uh, really odd circular feature on top and this one uh, let's just see where is that like at there it's located right there and uh, it's like this triangular part the rounded larger dome at the apex a smaller one possibly in the center and then another part to it at the bottom it looks like it might have an opening over here really straight lines as well and I uh, don't know if that could be a little dome as it, it might be with that there not your regular rock or boulder well that's my opinion guys and then um, those smaller anomalies to the left looks like a small disc like feature with a smaller dome on top and then uh, these multiple smaller pieces could that have been uh, part of one object that broke up and then uh, the next anomaly is there actually I've zoomed in on both of those look at this part of here looks like a piece of metal plate that's been bent with some uh, smaller parts to it look at that opening over there and then this mangled piece of what looks like metal over here to the right with uh, really well defined edges let's see if it's sort of above the surface and then uh, that part steps down there and what looks like sort of a, a darker color could be pipes and there's a rectangular feature there another triangular feature there carrying on uh, down the structure got that part lying over there in the surface on the sand so what could this be it's almost like a, a racket shape with this triangular feature sticking out of the center also a really smooth side <clears throat> next anomaly is located there towards the right looks like a multiple layered part <clears throat> this triangular metallic metal looking plate on top and a smaller uh, rectangular feature on top of this uh, plate of here and underneath seems to be another piece to it so nice edges And the wall continues or the structure continues and uh, the part we're looking at is located there also multiple layers got a uh, really narrow rectangular piece on top with uh, two slots in it possibly and then another part to it this rounded corner and the next anomaly we're looking at is located there <clears throat> and this looks like a piece of machinery uh, opening over there perhaps if you look at the shadow it costs this piece looks as if it could be triangular and uh, what looks like smaller parts and piping over there 
maybe a small little dome or sphere located towards the bottom and then these multiple features on top also partially buried in sand and, uh, look at uh, another part of a smaller structure with blocks it seems to have dislodged and uh, the anomaly we're looking at is right there in the center of the screen really flat side straight edges and that anomaly there looks like a piece of metal plate or sheet metal that's been bent at this uh, edge and um, over here seems to be some circular features there could be a donut shape over here and a little oblong sphere over there <coughs> Looking at those two blocks located here, yeah. at first uh, they looked like they could be boulders or rocks, but check out the triangular feature here, yeah. really flat side, really smoothed off flat sides, and then over there it looked like uh, we got what looks like, pardon me, more little features. That part there in the center of the screen looks like another piece of rounded metal plate. It's been bent and it's got this ridge line running across the top and a smaller circular feature half buried in the sand. And then this, check out the uh, geometry and symmetry in this object, it's got multiple triangular parts, the smaller triangular piece to it in the center, also covered, partially covered in sand, so could this be part of a structure? or uh, some more technology and it looks as if uh, this mound has been uh, sort of worked or machined somehow or could that have been uh, a raised structure that's been eroded and this uh, structure over here in the center. I've zoomed in on the blocks to show you the similarity between them and the geometry in these shapes. Look at that uh, almost looks like a, a UFO type of shape. Not that it is typical UFO type of shape. Check out the uh, rounded edge and then uh, this feature on top almost like an arch with a rounded part running along that top and uh, sort of going to that what looks like an opening and then this, what looks like a piece of machine with some type of technology perhaps and this looks like this was a structure that toppled over and the blocks rolled down so that's a close-up of the uh, the apex of this mound. Check out the the blocks, multiple straight edges, 90 degree angles, 
there's definitely some type of geometry in these so we're looking at uh, this part over here it's got these flat sides and a circular feature there in the center and then what looks like a hole on this side There's multiple uh, anomalies over here. First one's right there. Also, this uh, really square shape with a smaller dome like feature on top, and then uh, it seems to be dented right there in the side of this object. Next anomaly is in the center of the screen. It looks like another piece of metal somehow in this V shape. And then a rounded part to it over here. Next anomaly is in the corner of the screen. And uh, this looks like an opening, a circular opening and uh, a rectangular part to it on the top and a really nicely defined edge so partially buried and then uh, check out this circular object buried in sand and uh, looks almost as if it could be sort of a disc like shape almost metallic looking okay that anomaly is right there check out the circular object underneath this part This anomaly is located in the center of the screen. Look at the uh, the straight lines and 90 degree angles on top of this object. Also, a really rounded edge. Okay, thank you for watching. Those are the anomalies I wanted to cover in that video. Um, the next video will uh, be looking at possible matching craft found on Mars. Uh, this is uh, a discovery I made some time ago. I'll include the link to my blog and the video in the description below. Um, hydro weights, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. 4th of August 2009 that's it up close and uh, a new discovery by my friend Saturn Ark 6452 kilometers away from my previous discovery acquisition date 21 March 2008 we got what looks like another one of those objects this is it zoomed in and I've just rotated it. That's my discovery and this is Saturn Ark's discovery. Look at the similarity between those two objects. And uh, this is an illustration that I did with this video. And uh, both objects are approximately 7.5 to 8 meters in diameter. So, matching objects, could that be the same craft, maybe two separate craft, who knows, pure speculation, so that will be featured in my next video, please subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't, and uh, to my regular channel viewers and subscribers, thank you for supporting my channel. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video.